Hey, this is Steve Halleck with TikToking, and as always, check out my website, TikToking.com, and check me out on Instagram, at Steve Halleck, for some really cool watches. Instagram is the best place to keep up with what I have uh, that comes in. But here we have one of the coolest and most unique watches that's come out in the last few years. This is the Christophe Claret Blackjack, and this particular one is a piece unique, which we'll get into shortly. Um, but let's just run straight into the functions of the watch. Obviously the main complication and the main thing that's unique about this watch is it plays a mechanical game of blackjack. Now, uh, not only does that mean that it has uh, completely randomized cards and numbers under there, you can see the discs that turn underneath with the numbers and these windows here for the cards, um, but also it is connected to a cathedral gong, so like in a minute repeater, um, and a cathedral means the gong wraps around twice for even more uh, volume and resonance. But every time either player gets a card, the gong sounds. So it's just something else really cool. Very, very complicated um, movement, obviously. Um, and the, uh, the, the blackjack functions are all governed by these buttons on the side. This one shuffles. This one uh, gets the dealer a card, and this one gives the player a card. So these are the player's cards down here, and the dealer's cards up there. And let's play through a game. So you can see I, I shuffled before. I've gotten 18, dealer showing a queen. So we're gonna stay there. Let's see what happens. That's 16 for the dealer, he's gonna hit again. And the dealer busts. All right, we did well that time. So when you're done, you hit it one more time and that closes those windows. All right, let's shuffle. All right, so here we've got two nines. He's showing a six. All right, here we're probably gonna stay again, don't you think? All right, so let's have him hit 16 and he busts again. All right, we're, we've got good luck today. Um, so you can't do any crazy things, obviously you can't split, you can't double down, you're not even betting in the first place. Um, so it's just a straight up game and also the player can't have more than four cards, the dealer can't have more than three. In most games it's sufficient, but every now and then you get a bunch of small cards and you would have wanted uh, a bigger card if you could have one. Um, but let's play one more time, see if we can get a blackjack. Oh, 12, he's got a seven, let's hit. All right, 15, we're gonna hit again. All right, not bad, let's see what the dealer's got. All right, we win again. Man, this is a great review, I'm, I'm in the money here. All right, so again, we close those windows, go through, close those windows, and now whenever we're ready, we just shuffle again, okay? So that's the blackjack function, and that's obviously the main draw here. But there's a couple other cool things. So if you look on this side, you've got the crown, which just winds and sets the watch, like a normal watch. Uh, but under here, you've got two dice. They are probably the smallest dice on the planet. They're unbelievably small. But you can play dice games too, so you just kind of shake them. And there you go, I've got a one and a six in there. So that's, you know, just something fun. On this side, this is actually the, uh, the gong. You can see it. And when you take a card, let's, let's do one so you can see. You can see it actually strike the gong. So on the back, they've changed the automatic ro rotor into a game of roulette. So let's give it a, a little whirl here. Not bad, all right, so that's a roulette game. Here you've got an emerald for a lucky number, and this is actually user adjustable. You can change this so that uh, if you have a particular lucky number, you can make it line up with this emerald here and have your lucky number on the back of the watch. Um, and then here you can see, as I mentioned, this is a piece unique and it's marked piece unique. Okay, so let's get into the watch itself. This particular one, is in white gold and PVD titanium. You can see kind of the, the middle case is titanium and it really helps the watch uh, be wearable. It's a fairly big watch. 
um, and so that big titanium section helps it be you know not not too heavy to wear and then you can see I don't know if you've noticed uh, so far it's, it's pretty subtle but once you see it then you can't unsee it um, the dial is like a kind of smoked glass under which you can see the various cards that turn but this particular one has the motif of a joker's face and 21 right there um, so all of that make this a unique piece but then my favorite thing about this particular version is that um, all these standard ones have a big plaque right here on the dial that says like I think it says dealer dealer must draw on on 16 and stand on all 17 that whole thing is usually written on a plaque on the dial which I think really throws off the watch and you know I don't want the rules of blackjack on my watch it's cool that I can play it but that's enough um, so this piece unique deletes that and uh, I think that that alone makes it worth it um, so one really really cool feature of the watch itself are these hands it's hard to really um, give you an idea of them in the video hopefully you can see but the the big red portions are actually synthetic ruby so the same kind of ruby jewels uh, in a movement you know that kind of jewel there uh, they've made these huge ones and crafted them into the shape of hands and they're attached to these black hands and they're really really cool hands in person totally unique I've never seen anything like it uh, and and they definitely look different than just sort of a painted a red painted hand or something like that they also make the watch extremely visible it's actually a very wearable watch um, uh, again the titanium case makes it light the size I believe is listed as 45 millimeters but the way the case is joined here uh, I'm sorry the strap is joined to the case and comes kind of straight down it wears pretty well on the wrist and in fact uh, why don't I why don't I strap it on now before I do the buckles pretty cool it's this uh, machined uh, deployant and these push in to release it so let's give it a go So there you can see on the wrist, it, the proportions are pretty nice. It wears well. Um, I actually really like the idea of this complication. It's something kind of fun. It's a way to really interact with your watch. You know, a lot of times you have these, these amazing complications or these watches do great things, but it's kind of like in theory, there's nothing you can really do with it. Uh, but this is something you can actually do something with. And uh, it, it's fun. It's, it shows a lot of skill, very complicated. Um, very very uh, cool with a historical background as I mentioned so uh, you know it's it, this is a this is a really really significant piece of horology it's not just a, a gimmick or something like that um, so again this is the Christophe Claret blackjack uh, piece unique and boy you're not gonna see a whole lot of these but it, it is a really 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 cool watch and if I were going to Vegas I'd want this thing strapped on my wrist. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed.